What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Deere back at it again with another Banger man, amen, same man. As you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail in today's video, I'm coming at y'all with how to set up your Shopify payments, man. A lot of you guys have been DMing me this. A lot of you guys have been asking me, yo, Dio, when you gonna make a video on the Shopify payment? Like, you made a video on the website, on this, on that, but you haven't showed us how to make the little payment part. How we gonna have a quarter, man? But we ain't got the payments, the payment, the payment part set up. Y'all ready? Hey man, say man, before we get started to the video, y'all know what to do, right? Dang, you gotta go ahead and smack that like button because it's free. Hit that subscribe button because we're on the road to 40 kizzy. And bro, make sure you turn that post notification on because if you wasn't notified before this video, nigga, you is bugging. Nigga. Make sure you go ahead and hit on the gram too and follow me. We're trying to hit 30 kizzy on the gram. Simple. Listen, enough talking. Let go set up them Shopify payments so you can start having it. I ain't got no cash, so I don't, I don't carry cash. I'm just trying to symbolize money on, but um. Alright y'all man, so look, you wanna go ahead and head to your little Compusey man, you know what I'm saying? You could do it off the phone, but I prefer you do it off your computer because this is gonna be easier and easy to access. So guess what? We on the motherfucking computer man. So boom, what you wanna do is, you wanna go ahead and head to your Shopify person. Me personally, I use Shopify for my domain. So if anybody doesn't use Shopify, it might be a little different for you. Well, you should only use Shopify because the video probably says Shopify payments. The dog. Now I already have my payments set up, but thankfully I have two stores. Y'all know I have multiple brands and stuff like that. So, or if you're new to the channel, now you know I have multiple brands. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna be sending up payments from my other brands. So with that being said, you're gonna head on to Shopify. Now Shopify is gonna look like this, especially if you're new to Shopify. I me, mean, this is a new brand, like I told y'all. So it looks like this. Nothing is set up. Y'all see, still telling me to set stuff up. Besides the point, you wanna head to settings. Go to settings. Now you wanna go down to payments. You know. I'm saying duh once again once you head to payments it's gonna look something like this now look I've said this before in a few videos but I've never really addressed it for real for real yo do not use PayPal bro I'm just going this right here ignore PayPal the reason why you shouldn't use PayPal is because PayPal hold a lot of people's money bro like a lot of clothing brands a lot of people with businesses know that PayPal will hold your that they'll hold your money bro like I don't even think I still have the account but bro I have a PayPal with over a thousand dollars held of 
promo payments, bro. They've had all my money, bro. Like, I can't do nothing about it. You feel me? So PayPal will hold your money, and it's very hard to get in contact with PayPal nowadays. So hey, I was you, I would stay away from PayPal. I know a lot of y'all people don't have a bank account and this and that, but bro, you gotta do you gotta find something else. Cause PayPal will hold your money, especially if you do the coding man stuff and you follow my YouTube channel and stuff like that, then you know, let's say you do a pre-order where people pay you first and then you make the item and imagine you only use PayPal and your PayPal is getting held. You're done. <laughs> You're done, buddy. You know what I'm saying? So hey, stay away from PayPal, bro. That's just me personally. That, that, that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But you want to go to Shopify payments, right? So now there's two ways that you could do it or two ways that I know how to do it, right? So number one is Shopify payments. Now me personally, I like Shopify payments, but they have done some pretty weird stuff to my business before as in holding it, holding money and needing all this other information before I'm able to receive my money and stuff like that. Or you could use Stripe. Now we're going to first do Shopify payments because Shopify payments is right. And then we're going to do Stripe. And I'm going to tell y'all which one I like the best and what they will be to do. So boom, you wanna go ahead and click complete account setup or you have manage, you have complete account setup. You wanna click complete account setup, right? So it's gonna ask you for a few things. It's gonna ask you for information. It's gonna ask you for your business type. You already know y'all type it. Y'all know what to do, bro. Y'all just type it in, you know what I'm saying? You got LLC, partnership, nonprofit, whoop de whoop. For now, we just gonna put individual, whoop de whoop. EIN number, if you got an EIN number, go ahead and put it on there. You got that. I gotta blur this. Damn, my address is right here. You, you got address on there, you know what I'm saying? You got your address, you got your name, you got your social security. You will need your social security to make up a Shopify account. You want to put your date of birth. 17, 2002. Now, something I have heard from some of you guys that be DMing me, a lot of you guys be saying, yo, what do I do if I'm not over 18 years old and I want to make a Shopify and I want to start a business, start a coding man, bro. I'm going to just keep it a buck. You're going to have to find somebody that's over 18. Because if y'all look right here, where you put the, the date of birth or whatever, right? Let's say I put 20, 2002. That's when I'm born. Boom. You know what I'm saying? It pops up, right? Everything good, right? Can move on. No, nothing bad. Let's say I was born in like 2010 and I'm not over 18 i'll be like what 13 why is it not so you look data bird must be from an account opener who is at least 18 years old so you cannot make a shopify if you're under 18 i'm so sorry if you're under 18 but twin you're gonna have to find somebody you're gonna have to find somebody older bro you might have to find your mama your dad your brother you know what i'm saying just be smart you know what i'm saying be smart so i would say get a family member that's the only way you really gonna have to do it shit unless you do some illegal activity hey that ain't come for me now that ain't come for me <laughs> Hey, they ain't come for me. It did it. You didn't hear that from me. So, hey, make sure you 18 or get somebody who's over 18 years old to do it for you. But born in 2002, so boom, put that in. You're going to have to add your social security number, which I'm not going to do. You're going to have to add your business in. You're going to have to add all this little description. None of this really matters. I mean, it matters, but it doesn't really matter. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just put the right thing. You make codes, put codes. You, I don't know, do memberships, entertainment, digital products. Put that shit in there and go about your day. You know what I'm saying? So once you're done, you're going to have to click next. Boom, boom, boom. And it's going to be pretty simple, bro. After that, all you got to do, I believe, is wait three days for them to verify, right? You're going to click complete account setup. And then you're going to have to wait three days for them to verify the whole entire thing. Now, once they verify everything, it's going to be straight to the point. You're going to be able to get your stuff, do payments, whoop de whoop. And once you do that, everything completely fine, as y'all can see. So that's for Shopify payments. Now, let's get into Stripe payments. See, Shopify payments is, there's different payments. Let me, let me, I'm gonna explain it. Let me explain it so y'all can understand it because I don't want to just be rambling. I want y'all to actually understand it, right? So let's go to payments on an account that has not been done yet, right? So as y'all can see, this account is the one that we were gonna put Shopify payments in. So now look, if you click manage, right? And you scroll down and you look right here, it says switch to third party provider. You click switch, right? You're gonna see there's a lot of different like providers for payments. So there's Shopify, payments. there's Stripe that's very known for. I believe there's Square that's very, very known for. There's Ignite payment, if y'all know what that is. A lot of people use that. There's PayPal which I suggest you don't use, but it's up to you. There's e-payments, I'm sure you have seen that. AirPay, I'm sure you guys have seen that. So all these are providers, it's like a provider that's able to collect the money and send it to your bank account. And every provider got different things. Some providers are better at protecting for fraud. Some providers are better at taxes. 
some providers give you better discounts some providers just better just format in general right so me personally i use stripe now if y'all not familiar with me and y'all haven't seen all my videos in a few of my videos i've said stripe has finessed me before stripe held my money before stripe had me in a chokehold over i forgot over sixty thousand dollars refunded from stripe because they thought i was scamming or some some weird stuff like that but it's okay because everything happens for a reason but even with all that happening i still use stripe i be seeing a lot of you guys in my comments asking do you still use stripe do you still suggest stripe i still use stripe just because i understood it was a misunderstanding between me and stripe even though they didn't make another lose hell of money i'd rather use stripe than shopify payments because i've had a lot of problems with shopify payments even doing drops and i just don't want to deal with that so we're gonna talk about stripe and how to set up your stripe account you know what i'm saying and i'm actually gonna do it on this one because i actually need to set up my stripe account because i don't have the payment set up so we're gonna go back over here like i said you're gonna go to payments we'll go to manage now for stripe is different because stripe is not a u oh, oh i believe it is a u.s company but for some reason you gotta switch your country on the shopify app i don't know why but let's let, let do it quick so boom you want to go to shopify you know what i'm saying it's gonna look something like this you want to go to your settings before you want to set up for stripe you want to go to store details right go to store details now you're gonna scroll down to billing information Right, you're gonna switch, you're gonna scroll down to billing information, right? Right here, it's going for, for me. I don't know why it says deactivate Shopify, whatever, but you basically want to switch the country. So, whatever it says, right? If yours pops up, switch the country. If it says this, then just click deactivate. You know what I'm saying? We don't need none of that. And then you want to switch the country to France. Listen to me, twin. You want to switch the country to France, right? So, boom, switch the country to France. I believe you don't really need to switch your address, it don't even matter, bro. Switch the country to France, right? And then you want to save it. Now, boom, now that you've done that, go back to payments again. Now, when you go to payments, it's going to look something like this. Like I say, it should say activate Shopify payments. If you want to do the Shopify payments, you do that. If you want to use Stripe, this is what you're going to do. You want to go to see all providers, right? Go down here. Now, you're going to come over here. Oh, Stripe's already up here, but you would have to type in Stripe. But Stripe is already up here, right? I see it says preferred, Apple Pay, all that. Click Stripe. So, boom. Once you do that, y'all might not have Stripe. So, you're going to have to go down here and create an account. Very straight to the point. It's very easy. We might do it real quick. A little test just so y'all can see it. Y'all can understand how to do it. You know what I'm saying? So create a new business. As y'all can see, I already have a Stripe account. So you want to just, you know what I'm saying? All this is pretty normal individual business. Basically, what you did to Shopify payments, you want to do it on here. It's going to ask you basic questions. It's going to ask for your social security number. It's going to ask for all that. I'm not sure if you actually need to be 18 for Stripe. Let me actually check it out. Y'all better hope. Let's pray. 2013. Yeah. Oh! Hey, I just put y'all down. But I just put y'all down. You could be 13 years old. Manage and owners must be at least 13 years old. On Shopify payment, you have to be 18. On Stripe, you have to be 13, y'all. And Stripe is the same thing as Shopify payment, if not better. So for all y'all that always ask me, how you make a quarter, man, whoop de whoop, bro, I just put you down, bro. You could be 13 years old making big money, y'all. Let's, let's put 2014 and see what happens. Whoa. No, I'm, I'm I'm slow. Why did I put 2004? I'm supposed to be 2000. It's 2023. 2010, you're 13 years old. Hey, y'all need to chill. Y'all see the time? It's 3.47 a.m., bro. I'm tweaking right now. So, hey, for any of y'all who was born 2013 and, no, 2010 and up, you're good, my guy. You can make a quote and you can make a business with Stripe. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, go to Stripe, set this account. So, for all y'all that was just using Shopify payments and you probably got upset that you can't get somebody over 18 to do your account, you good bro go to strike as long as you born anything before 2010 which a lot of y'all should be born anything before 2010 you're good bro you know what i'm saying so boom you want to set all this up like i said it's gonna be basic questions it's gonna ask you for the social security number i don't know why my shit already damn near typed in in this bitch how y'all niggas know me Or is it just asking for the last four? I don't know. But you want to set all this up. Then you're going to click continue. It's going to be very, very straight to the point. Like I said, and then you're going to have a Stripe account. Now, once you have a Stripe account, it's literally just going to connect it to your Shopify, which let's do it right now. Like I just explained for my new brand. So let's do it real quick. So you want to go to Stripe, set this up, go to here, continue, DRA, boom, boom, boom. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. And boom, just like that, bro. As simple as that. My Shopify account is already connected. So boom. Let me go to Stripe and I'm gonna show y'all what it's gonna look like. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, man? This video, this video. Hey, look, easy peasy lemon, motherfucking squeezy, nigga. Come on, son. As you guys can see, this is what it's gonna look like on Stripe. Now y'all know I haven't dropped nothing all freaking month, so 
My shit look pretty dry, bro. Zero sales today. That's completely fine, bro. I don't even have anything on the site, so it's completely cool. But hey, as you guys can see, this is what Stripe's gonna look like, man. You got your payments right here. So all you're gonna do is go to your payments, and then you wanna go ahead and add your bank account. That's not where you're gonna add your bank account, actually. I'm tripping out. Bro, where is the payment area? Okay, wait, what? I found it. Okay, I found it. So look. In order to get your bank account set up, you wanna to go to balance, right? You're gonna to go to manage bank account, right? Click manage bank account, and then you're just gonna add your bank account. My shit right here, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna show y'all too, too much. All right, I gotta bring that out. But you put the bank account routing number and all that, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you're gonna need a bank account, especially if you use Stripe, because I don't even believe they use PayPal on Stripe. I don't even think, you don't even wanna use PayPal on Stripe. I'm gonna just keep it a butt. I'm gonna just keep it a butt with you. But just like that, bro, now you can go back to your little Shopify, and as you can see, mine's set up perfectly. Stripe has been activated, and just like that now anybody who goes to the website and tries to buy something your thing has been activated so boom it's gonna go cha-ching now a thing about it is y'all from now on you're going to have to use stripe to check your payments you know what i'm saying so let's say um you get a refund it's not going to show it on shop well it is going to show it on shopify but there's not much you can do about it on shopify because you use stripe for payments the shopify is literally just for your website and just for your products you know what i'm saying the stripe is what the payments are going through the stripe is where the money is coming from you know what i'm saying the stripe is connected to your shopify and shopify is used for the website makes sense and if you if you want to know how to make a website too in under five minutes bro probably click one of these sections right i'm pretty sure it's this section i think no way if i'm facing this way and the video is facing this way let me look at my video behind me it's this side <laughs> imagine i say it's this side and i'm wrong the whole time then i'm gonna really look stupid i'm gonna insert that clip if i if i'm wrong yeah nigga but if i'm not wrong i ain't gonna insert the clip in fact i'm gonna just insert the clip because i'm talking too much anyways but yeah y'all just like that man just that simple and easy that is how you set up payments for your shopify like i said i suggest not to use paypal because paypal gonna get you in trouble my boy it's gonna get your money held if anybody with a clothing brand they know but if they use paypal before and they, and they got held before it's gg you're done buddy like say goodbye to that money because you're not gonna get it back once once paypal i hold your money you ain't never getting it back another thing about stripe y'all let me put y'all down to this right here man this is one of the most beautiful things that i use about that i love about stripe and why i switched to stripe is because yo if you have a business especially for my coding brand people once your brand start taking off bro people are going to try to scam you bro you get so many fraud payments and I'm gonna show y'all peep how many fraud payments have been blocked from my site. Y'all look at this. I'm already knowing it's gonna be OD people, bro. Cause Stripe is good for that. They know what a scam is like. If the address don't match the credit card or the debit card, but they automatically block it. You not they're not going for none of that, bro. None of it, bro. They don't they don't play none of that. If it were low, that would be nice. Or oh, I think I, here it is. Here it is. Look, look, look. Y'all look at how much money. Look at how much money. Twenty-one thousand dollars worth of scams, bro, from my business. Twenty. $21,000, bro. Block payments, 183 payments. Attempted payments, 964 people. 964, 964 times. Y'all peep, bro? I'm telling y'all, Stripe is him when it comes to this. Now, I do believe that Stripe sometimes do block unnecessarily. Like, I've had people text me like, oh, I accidentally put the wrong number in. And the second time I did it, it didn't go through. Twin, shit. Stripe's just my bodyguard, bro. I'm sorry. So, hey man, that is going to be it for today's video. Like I said before, that is how you set up your Shopify payments, your stripes. It's up to you guys what you want to use. Straight to the point, easy peasy. Y'all know how we always come in, man. So, hey, now that that's done, you know what to do. Go start that business. Go start that coding brand. Go start that candle business. Go start whatever business you're doing. If you're doing job shipping, whatever it is, bro, go start it. Let's get to it. And yeah, stay focused. You know the vibes, bro. And y'all know, bro, we all going to the top and we is not going to stop nor drop. Cause hold on, my nigga, I'm really. Nigga, Y'all know, I, I like giving y'all motivation at the end of every single video, right? So, um, let's, let's, let Dior, cue the music. Cool little motivation, y'all, cool little motivation. Let's look at the view before we go to bed. You know what I'm saying? It's like 3 a.m. right now. Let's look at this beautiful view for all y'all that's trying to get to where y'all want to get to, you feel me? Just manifest, stay focused. I know y'all can't see me, but let's just look at the beautiful view, man. Look at the beautiful view. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful view, man. Cool little motivation. Anything you want in life, you can get it. Just stay focused, stay down, focus on yourself. 
focus on what you got going on. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, it's gonna come. It may take time, but it's gonna come. So, hey, I done taught your ass how to motherfucking make a website. I done taught your ass how to set up your goddamn payments. So now you ready to go, man. Ain't no more excuses. Let's get straight to it, man. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you smack that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn that post notification on, and let's get to 40K, and then we gonna hit the 100K, because that's how we come in. You know what I'm saying? 100K by the end of December 31st. By the end of 2023, and that's a fact. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be your boy Dior. Dior is for L. And I love y'all.